The operational head office of ADAX Petroleum in Lagos, southwest Nigeria, has been shut down following a picketing exercise by the Petroleum and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Pengasin. ADAX Petroleum is accused of engaging in unwholesome health and safety practices. The union's media officer, Mr. Babatunde Oke, goes on to accuse the company of undue delay of collective bargaining agreement eight months down the line. We have had uh, lingering industrial relations issues in the company for a while now, and we've tried every dialogue to bring that to a close. But my management uh, has not been really forthcoming in trying to end that amicably. And so about two weeks ago, the president of Pengas and Worldwide, Comrade F.O. Johnson, decided to pay a courtesy visit to the company to try and end that. But upon arriving at the company premises, we were locked out of the company. Even those of us that are bona fide staff of the company were locked out. And that is what has prompted this action. We are demanding an unreserved apology from the company before we can vacate. Otherwise, this action will continue indefinitely. Pending that, we will continue to be here until we get that apology letter, and then we can go ahead and look at other industrial relations issues in a dialogue form. Some of those uh, issues are issues such as a promotion. People can work here for as much as 10, 13 years without getting any promotion. There are no opportunities. Expatriates are taking over our jobs. In some departments, you can find as much as a ratio of one Nigerian to like three expatriates. In this country today, I think we have enough expertise in oil and gas for Nigerians to gain full employment. We also have issues where people are perpetrated in contract positions and are not being converted. Again, we also have issues of safety. We work in oil and gas, and you agree with me that offshore is very risky. Now, you have people who commute long distances offshore in Zodiac boats. Zodiac boats are not very safe for commuting offshore. And these are things that have been going on. We have some helicopters that should have been changed, and they've still not changed it. And yet our members and even other contractors are made to use this unsafe uh, equipment to work. We want a stop to this.